In this tutorial, we're gonna talk about how to add custom field or meta key to WooCommerce Bulk Coupons Editing Plugin. It's amazing how you can add all custom fields defined in the WooCommerce Coupon page personally to the coupon table of our plugin. What's even more amazing is that not only you can see the custom fields on the coupon table, but also you're able to bulk edit them or filter your coupons according to them. So, in this tutorial, we have provided an ultimate guide to help you add, edit, or filter custom fields in the WooCommerce Bulk Coupons Editing Plugin. So let's get into it. Uh, first of all, to add a custom field, you need to go to the main page of our plugin. So, I go to WordPress Dashboard, IT Bulk Editing, and Woo Coupons. Then, at the top of the page, click on Meta Fields to open the related page. And here, the Meta Fields page is divided into two parts. On the left, you can search the custom fields manually or automatically from Coupon and then add it to the right and customize it however you want. So let's try to add some custom fields by using both methods. Let's try manually first. To add a custom field manually, you have to type the exact name of it in the text box in this section. For example, let's say we have created a custom field on the WooCommerce page to publish some coupon monthly on a specific date and we actually named it monthly in the WooCommerce custom field section. So to add this custom field to the plugin, we have to type monthly in the text box under manually field and then we're gonna click on this little plus sign in front of it and as you can see the custom field has been added to the opposite box but it's not added to the plugin yet you can also add other custom fields the same way for example we want to add another meta field called gift which decides if a coupon is a gift or not using the yes or no checkboxes. We're gonna type gift in the text box under manually field and click on this plus sign. And that's it. Now the automatically way. It's also possible to add the custom fields of the coupon automatically by typing its ID number which should be on the text box under automatically from coupon and then you should click on a plus sign. Now, both custom fields have been added to the opposite box which enable you to customize the features of these custom fields before saving them to the plugin to edit or filter them. In the next part, we will show you how to customize custom fields. Now, to customize custom fields, you have access to different options in the right box and the first option is assigning a name. The first box in front of each column is a text box that can help you to assign a new name to that field so that it would exist on different pages of our plugin. If you don't type anything in the text box, you'll see the custom fields with their original name. For example, we're going to type monthly coupon in front of the first custom field and we will later see this name in all pages of our plugin. The second and third boxes in front of the custom fields enable you to specify how our plugin must treat each meta field and what kinds of fields must be shown in front of each one in the bulk edit form or filter form. Now by clicking on the third text box, all of the available fields will be listed here which are a text box, text area, checkbox, radio, array, calendar, email, password, URL, image, file, editor, select, and etc. You need to choose one of the items in the list according to the values assigned to the custom fields in the WooCommerce coupon page. For example, we'll choose a calendar for monthly custom field because the plugin must treat it as a dates field. And we should use a checkbox for the gift meta field because, as we mentioned before, it must be defined by marking the yes or no checkboxes. 
All right, now this part is for changing the order and deleting it. Uh, to the right of the customization box, you can see two signs, a close icon and, and a change order icon. If you click on this one, it'll rearrange the custom fields, which has to do with in which order they must be displayed in the plugin. And if you click on this close button, the metal field will be removed. And after finishing the customization, it's time to add those custom fields to the plugin now. So by clicking on save fields, all custom fields listed in the second box will be added to the plugin. Now don't forget that you can add as many custom fields as you already have to our plugin in the WooCommerce coupon page. When you see the success message at the top of the page, it means that every added custom field is available in our plugin, which we'll see in the next part. Now let's talk about filtering coupons by custom fields. After you click on save fields, you have access to all custom fields added from the meta fields tab on the filter form. And as you can see, by opening the filter form and clicking on the custom fields tab, you will see all of the meta fields and you can use any of them to filter your products. The custom fields that you have added in the meta fields tab are also available in the bulk form. If you click on the bulk edits button on the main page of our plugin and then open the custom fields tab. As we mentioned before, when you assign a name to the meta field, you'll notice it everywhere in our plugin by that name. So here we can see the monthly coupon field in the bulk edit form as we expected. To bulk edit this field, you have access to the built-in calendar because you have defined its value as a date. You can add custom fields columns to the coupon table by following these steps. Go ahead and click on column profile at the main page of our plugin. Scroll down the column profile form to see custom fields section and then mark as many fields as you need under this section. Once you mark those fields, click on apply to table and here you can see the values of custom fields columns in the coupon table. Just like other columns on the table, you can use the bind edits option to change the value of custom fields columns as well. Here we assign a date to monthly coupon by bind edit. As an example to show you how it is. Yeah.